Welcome to The Biggest Little Adventures, a channel dedicated to the adventure moto lifestyle, covering equipment reviews, installation videos, tips, trips, and stories. I'm Carlo, and today I'm talking about the installation of the Pylon Pooch Motorcycle Dog Carrier. This is part two in a four-part series. Unboxing was covered in part one, and I'll put the link here. The bottom of the pylon pooch has small indents. I'm using the supplied pencil to outline the support boxes. You will want your mounting hardware to be inside or slightly on the border of these boxes. I chose the Rhino Rack square U-bolts to mount my pylon pooch to allow quickly taking it on and off the bike. The link will be in the description below. You'll want to take your tail rack off the motorcycle to line up your mounting locations for the pylon pooch. Make sure you have the front of the pylon pooch, the part with the lower lip facing forward, corresponding to the front of your tail rack. You'll want to make sure there's even spacing on each side to center on your tail rack. It's best to get a rough idea of how far forward or backward you want the pylon pooch to sit on your tail rack and mark it before taking the tail rack off the bike. I am mounting the pylon pooch on my stock BMW GSA tail rack with the Altrider plate. Once you have everything centered, you will mark the hole locations with the grease pencil. Double check the fit of your hardware and drill some holes. The size of the bit will depend on the bolts you use. Remember, measure twice, cut once. The holes for the roll cage are extremely tight or a bit too small. I had to use a Dremel tool to make the holes just big enough to fit. Pylon Pooch has a detailed installation video. I will put the link up here. They talk about using a drill bit and some lube, but I found the drill bit to be a bit clumsy compared to the Dremel. Next, you're going to take apart the top piece, which in the instructions is covered in unboxing. But I saved this part until now, so I didn't lose the bolts. The longer bolts will go into the center piece that will hold the chain for your dog. The shorter bolts go on the outside edges. I used a clamp to hold the center piece together, turning this from a two-person operation to a one-person job. You first attach the center part, which will have the chain mount for your dog. And then you put in the outside bolts, alternating sides like the lug nuts of a car tire. Finally, you'll attach the bolts to the bottom that go to the roll bars. None of the bolts have torque specs I was able to find, so I just made sure I hand tightened them. Next, you'll put on the cover. Your initial time, the cover will fit very tightly. There's two grommets on the front. Now, my cover was one of the prototype covers and had buttons on the back with no corresponding male end of the button. I wrote pylon pooch, and they said that that was from the pre-production ones. This is the inside of the pylon pooch with my square U-bolts. This is the bottom of the bike with the U-bolts coming through. I did end up buying a little, probably a little bit too long a U-bolts for this. But they have the hand tighten um, mechanism. So I could easily take this on and off by hand without having to remove my tail rack. The pylon pooch installation video uses the opposite method, having the U-bolts on the tubular rack and the bolts coming to the nuts on the inside of the pylon pooch. So far, Dozer loves being a pylon pooch and instantly took to being a moto dog. I may play around with moving it farther back as my tent bag tends to take up a lot of room, cramping my seat position. For a review on how the system worked out on a camping trip, please see part three of the series. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you'll get updates on all our adventures. Thanks for tuning in to The Biggest Little Adventures with Carlo and Dozer.